in this video we'll cover all you need to know before traveling to Budapest, including where all the major attractions, the best time to visit, where to stay and for how long, public transportation, how much things cost, the best apps to use, the best views of Budapest and other practical information. We would like to thank Septix, a number one choice for travel adapters on Amazon for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications and share your own experience and recommendations or ask a question in the comments below. We've also created a mobile-friendly PDF document covering all the things in this video plus top 20 things to do in Budapest, including maps, links, opening hours and more. Here are 11 essential tips to know before you visit Budapest. Number 11. The map of Budapest. Budapest is divided into two parts, Buda and Pest, located on opposite banks of the Danube River. The two areas are connected by several impressive bridges. Margaret Island, with ruins of Franciscan church and nunnery, is located in the northern part of the city. The Danube River promenade and its surrounding area is classified as UNESCO World Heritage Site and is home to significant buildings such as the Hungarian Parliament, the most prominent and iconic building in Budapest. If you continue south of the Parliament, you will find Shoes on the Danube Bank, a memorial honoring the Jews who were killed during the World War II. Chain Bridge, the first permanent bridge connecting Buda and Pest, is just a few steps from the memorial. If you cross this beautiful bridge, you will get to the Buda Castle district, with funicular that takes you directly to the Buda Castle and Fisherman's Bastion, featuring seven towers and serves as an extension of the castle. Right behind the monument you will find the impressive and beautifully restored Matthias Church. Citadella is a former fortress and another great place for a spectacular view of Budapest. Don't forget to visit the Liberty Statue. Did you know that Budapest is nicknamed the City of Spas? Right under Gellert Hill there are two famous thermal baths, Gellert Thermal Bath and Rudash Bath. If you're hungry head over to a 100 year old Central Market Hall, the largest food hall in Hungary. The food hall is located at the end of the famous shopping street Vasi Utsa, where you can stop and get the traditional Hungarian cake, Kurtos Kolac at Molnar's, one of the famous cake makers. Dohani Street Synagogue is located in the Jewish Quarter. In the same neighborhood you will also find the famous rune pubs like Simpla Kurt, cool drinking bars with a unique character. New York Palace and the famous New York Cafe are located close to the Jewish Quarter. The famous Budapest I Ferris Wheel is located on Elizabeth Square. Located near Liberty Square with the Soviet War Memorial, you will find Hungary's most famous church, St. Stephen's Basilica. On the beautiful Andrashi Avenue, you will find Hungarian State Opera and House of Terror, a museum dedicated to the dark times of the recent Hungarian history. The boulevard ends with Hero Square and the Millennium Monument, which marks the entrance to the beautiful city park, with many attractions such as Vajna Hunyat Castle, Lake, Budapest Zoo and Botanical Garden, Sicheni Thermal Bath and many others. And for all the Formula 1 fans out there, don't miss the famous Hungarian Ring. All the attractions you see here and many additional ones are covered in our travel guide that also comes with dedicated Google Maps. To get a better sense of the distance, a 1.2 mile or 2 km walk from Hungarian Parliament building to Fisherman's Bastion takes about 25 minutes or 15 minutes if you use a combination of public transport and walking. About 1.7 mile or 2.7 km walk takes 35 minutes from St. Stephen Basilica to Hero Square or about 15 minutes if you take a metro. If you want a fun, fast and eco ride in the city, we recommend using an electric scooter. Budapest's main airport is Budapest Ferenclis Airport, located 30 and 50 minutes from the city center, depending on which public transport you use. Number 10. Weather and climate. 
Budapest has a continental climate, which means it gets cold in the winter and hot in the summer. Temperatures in winter are generally around freezing and range between 25 and 41 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 4 and 5 degrees Celsius. Snow is common and you can expect the grey weather. In the spring the weather improves and the temperatures range between 36 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 and 21 degrees Celsius. Some days can be rainy, but there are plenty of sun days too. Summer is hot and humid with a lot of sunshine and also quite a lot of rain and temperatures ranging between 50 and 81 degrees Fahrenheit or 14 and 27 degrees Celsius. Weather in the fall is still pleasant in September but it quickly becomes colder and sometimes windy in October. Temperatures range between 36 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 8 and 22 degrees Celsius. Of course these are all just averages. The weather and temperatures can be different when you visit, so remember to always check the weather forecast before you travel. Number 9. Best time to visit. The best time to visit Budapest is between March and May in the spring and from September to November in the fall when the weather is mild, tourist crowds are gone and there is plenty of events in the city. Probably the least convenient time to visit Budapest is in the summer when the weather is hot and wet and there are crowds everywhere and due to a limited number of rooms in the city the prices of accommodation go up. If you want to experience the Christmas spirit including open air kitchens and fairs, travel at the end of November and in December. Just know that if you're traveling in the winter, days will be shorter and you will have less time during the day. However, you'll probably have a great time regardless of the season since Budapest is full of amazing attractions and things you can do all year long. And how can you figure out the best days and hours to see the attractions? Just check Google to see how crowded a specific location is at a particular time of day. Of course, we recommend going early during the week and or in the morning. Many travelers stay in Budapest for three days to see its main attractions and to enjoy the vibe of this fascinating city. If you want to be a little more relaxed, we recommend staying an extra day or two. Number 8. Where to stay and prices of accommodation. If this is your first time in Budapest, choose to stay in the District 1, also called the Castle District on the Buddha side of Danube, or District 5 or Inner City where you'll have many of the best sites just minutes away. For nightlife, stay in District 7. If you're on a budget, you'll find various affordable hotels and hostels in the District 6. And for a cool place to stay, head to District 8. If you're traveling with a family, District 5 on the best side of Danube is a good option. A mid-range hotel double room in Budapest can cost as low as 15,000 forints and up to about 35,000 forints per night. For budget hotels the average is 15,000 forints. Hostels are cheap in Budapest. You can get a hostel bed for around 4,500 forints per night. Alternatively you can rent an Airbnb apartment. The average cost per night for a small apartment that sleeps 4 people is 25,000 forints. Again these are all just average prices and the ranges for different hotel categories are quite wide. In the summer or during the weekends the accommodation can be more expensive due to the lack of rooms. However, with a little research online you can get better deals, especially if your dates are flexible and you don't travel in high season. Check out our video on the best apps for booking your stay. Number 7. Transportation from and to the airport. To get to and from Budapest Ferenc List Airport you can use buses, train, airport shuttle, taxis and car rentals. Arriving by train. You can travel to Budapest by train from numerous European cities via MAF, the Hungarian national train operator. You will most likely arrive to the Budapest Kaliti railway station in the Budapest city center, Nugati station or Delhi station arriving by car. You can use Google Maps to get driving directions to Budapest. Parking in the city is limited, especially during the day, so it might be challenging to find a spot. Parking costs between 170 and 440 forints, depending on how close you are to the city center. In most open space parkings you can only park for up to 3 hours. You can also park in one of the parking garages for about 400 forints per hour. Alternatively, you can book one of many hotels in the city that offer parking. Getting around the city. The sites in Budapest are mostly close by, so it's easy to get around on foot. But if you don't feel like walking, you can use one of the following modes of Budapest's very efficient public transport or other options. Metro, tram, 
bus, electric scooters, riverboat rides, taxi, bikes and other forms of transportation. Check our travel guide for more information. If you use public transportation such as metro, tram or a bus, you will pay 350 forints for a single ride and 1650 for 24 hours. You can also purchase tickets for a couple of days, such as a 72-hour ticket or a 7-day ticket. Check our travel guide for more information and prices. Number 6. General information. Drinking water. It is generally safe to drink tap water in Budapest. While drinking water fountains are rare in Budapest, a recent project was established where water hydrants were transformed into water fountains during summer. Toilets. There are some public restrooms in Budapest, but if you can't find one near you, you can use restrooms in cafes, restaurants or hotels. If you want to see where public toilets are located, you can use an app on your phone. But more on that later. Free Wi-Fi. Budapest residents and visitors can get free Wi-Fi at plenty of outdoor and indoor hotspots all over the city, including restaurants, cafes, bars, hotels and others. We'll cover apps for finding free Wi-Fi later. Routes and lines. Budapest is an increasingly popular destination. Over 30 million people visited Budapest in 2018 alone, and the numbers are rising every year, especially in the summer months, but also throughout the year, there are crowds everywhere, especially around big tourist attractions. So be prepared to wait in line. Even if you can't avoid the crowds, you can do some things to make your trip to Budapest a more pleasant experience. You can avoid peak seasons. Avoid traveling during rush hours. Get up early in the morning to explore the city without the crowds. Explore the suburbs once you've visited the must-see attractions in the city center. Safety. Budapest is generally a very safe place for tourists. Some areas are better avoided by night, but they are usually not located near tourist attractions. Typical for all major cities around the world, beware of pickpockets, especially around major attractions. Watch your valuables and use common sense. For emergency services, dial 112. Number 5. For international travelers. Travel adapters. If you're coming from outside Europe or from the UK, you will probably need a special European travel adapter to charge your phone and other devices. This is what the Hungarian power plug looks like. We recommend purchasing a travel adapter before traveling to Budapest. In fact, it is worth buying a universal adapter so you can use it in other countries too. This video is sponsored by Septix, the number one choice for international travelers to and from the US when it comes to travel adapters. Did you know that different adapters charge your phone, laptop or other devices at different speeds? Sometimes charging goes nowhere and when you're traveling, you need your device to be ready to go fast. Septix just released their brand new travel adapter designed to charge your device more quickly. We used it on our trip to Budapest. With multiple attachments, it allows us to charge up to four devices at once, which is convenient considering most hotel rooms only have a few outlets. Also, you can just bring the right attachment in a pouch. View Septic's user-friendly website to find adapters that fit your needs. We've also made a video about travel adapters and outlet styles around the world. The link is in the description. Language. The language spoken in Budapest is Hungarian. Currency. Budapest uses Hungarian forints. At the time of making of this video, 1000 forints is worth approximately $3.34 or 2 euros and 97 cents. Many places like restaurants and bars also take euros, the currency used in most other European countries. The exchange rate is not great, of course, naturally you'll get your change back in forints. While some hotels, stores and restaurants in the city accept major credit cards like Visa or MasterCard, it is also always wise to have some forints in your wallet. Money exchange and ATMs. The easiest way to get forints is through ATMs. In Hungary, ATMs typically ask you if you want to be charged in forints or in your home currency. For better exchange rates and smaller fees, choose to be built in forints and try to avoid your ATMs. It is also best to withdraw as few times as possible to avoid multiple ATM fees. You can also choose to exchange your foreign cash at currency exchange offices. Access the internet. You can purchase a prepaid SIM card to access the 
internet on your phone. Some options provided by local carriers are Vodafone, T-Mobile and Telenor. You can buy a travel plan that includes internet at any store in Budapest. There are also stores at the airport. Just make sure to bring your passport as you will need it to buy the SIM card. If you're from the US, consider using Google Fi. Alternatively, you can consider renting a mobile hotspot. See our travel guide for more information. Number 4. Best Apps here is a list of useful apps to use in Budapest. PKK, Futar and Smart City Budapest Transport to get the latest info on Budapest public transportation, including maps and timetables. Donkey Republic to rent a bike or Lime or a similar app to rent an electric scooter. Bolt for getting a taxi. And since there are no Ubers or Lyfts in Budapest, this app comes in quite handy. XE Currency or a similar currency converter app to always know how much you're spending. Viator or get your guide for reserving a tour in Budapest. TripAdvisor for reviews of restaurants, hotels, museums, tours, etc. With locals or Eatwit for food and other experiences with locals. Google Maps or Apple Maps for walking, public transportation, driving, etc. Google Maps also lets you download Maps, which is an excellent option if you don't want to use roaming. Flush for finding public restrooms. Wi-Fi Map or Wi-Fi Finder, which helps you find Wi-Fi throughout Budapest. Check our travel guide for links to download these apps on iOS and Android and for more app suggestions. Number 3. Food and prices. Budapest has plenty of dining options, from Michelin star restaurants to traditional Hungarian street food. We suggest using TripAdvisor to find nearby places with good reviews. Try to avoid restaurants at or near the major tourist attractions. You'll often get a much higher price quality ratio at local restaurants away from the main attractions. But food prices in Budapest are much lower than in other European cities, also if you happen to visit a pricier place. An inexpensive restaurant meal ranges from 1500 to 3000 forints. A traditional fisherman's soup, chicken paprikash, goulash, or a similar Hungarian dish will cost you between 1200 and 2400 forints. As for drinks in bars, a coffee costs from 300 forints to 600 forints, a bottle of water about 450 forints, a small bottle of soda about 300 forints, a pint of beer about 600 forints. A glass of wine will cost you about 400 forints and a cocktail from 1000 to 3000 forints. Of course, prices are higher in front of the famous tourist places such as Fisherman's Bastion, etc. The typical Hungarian funnel cake, Kurtosh Kolac, from a street kiosk will only cost you about 300 forints. If you buy one at a more famous place like Molnar's, the price of course is higher. There are plenty of great cheap eats in Budapest. Check out our travel guide for maps with best cheap eats. And an important note on tipping. Unlike most other countries in Europe, tipping is a standard in Hungary. A 10% to 15% tip is appreciated at restaurants in Budapest. Sometimes a 12.5% service charge is included in your bill, in which case you don't need an extra tip. Number 2. City Pass and Guided Tours If you want to save on attractions, you can purchase Budapest Cart, which offers free entry to some top attractions, access to thermal baths, various kinds of discounts, unlimited free use of public transport and more. Check out Travel Guide for current prices and links. A great way to discover Budapest is by walking tour, organized by professional guides who know a great deal about the city's rich history. Some providers even offer free walking tours. However, at the end of the tour, it is recommended to make a donation. See our travel guide for links to websites of free guided tours and other exciting tours of Budapest. Another great way to discover the city is by a hop-on hop-off bus or a boat tour. There are plenty of options to choose from. Check our travel guide for a list of providers and links. Number 1. Best free views of the city. You can enjoy amazing views of Budapest from one of the following places. Citadella or Gallard Hill, Panorama Terrace of the Buddha Castle, Fisherman's Bastion. Check our travel guide for more places with free and paid amazing views of the city and maps to quickly locate them. Our travel guide is a mobile-friendly PDF document that you can store on your phone for offline use. It covers the top 10 things to do in Budapest plus 10 additional attractions, maps, links, opening hours and other information that will help make your trip to Budapest stress-free. By purchasing our travel guide you are also helping us sustain this channel, so big thank you for that!
And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that we can keep bringing you more awesome content.